So we understand how to create some elements with HTML, and we understand that we can write CSS code to style particular elements. But how do we actually execute our code in the editor? I mean, how do we connect the CSS and the HTML? Well, you have options. There are three main ways to link CSS to your HTML code, and I'll, quick, I'll quickly show you an example of each, and then you'll continue learning about them on your own. The first is called inline, the second are style tags, and the third are external style sheets. One way that perhaps you've seen is through linking an external style sheet. To link an external style sheet, you create a link with a relationship style sheet, a type text CSS, and here is our href attribute, which you may remember. Our href attribute goes to styledemo.css. So let's go into our folder and we see here we have style demo CSS. So one way that we could do this is we could say here we have an ID test. So there's one way, right? We can use an external style sheet here, which we've linked in the head of our HTML document, and then it reads perfectly to this. A second way is called inline CSS. Inline CSS lets you actually add the CSS code as an attribute in the front tag of a div. So for example, here we have our div, and as we learned uh, in HTML, we have an ID attribute, but we can also have a style attribute. And here the style attribute lets you uh, write CSS rules directly onto a div. So right now this div has style font size 54px, but if we change it to style font size 14px, we see it shrink right down. So see that these also work in connection. I'm calling both this CSS, which is giving me the color red, and on an inline style, I'm setting the font to be 14 points. But that's not it. There's a third way you can do this, which are to put style tags directly inside your header, right? So notice in our header here, we've linked an external style sheet. But if we don't want to do that, we could put style tags directly in here, and then any CSS we write will go directly into our HTML. So let's do this. Let's say text decoration uppercase. I think this is a property. We'll find out together. It's going to be text transform, I think, actually, right? Boom, and then we see uppercase. So now we have CSS coming from an external sheet. We have CSS that's coming from within style tags in the header. And we have inline CSS directly on the element. Now, to be clear, in the real world, I think you would rarely use all three of these in one project. For different instances, you might use one or the other. Often. The style tags are good when you're just trying to throw something together and you don't want to have two files yet. But ultimately, when you're working on a professional project, we talk about uh, you know, separating concerns. So it's going to be helpful for you to know how to have your CSS in a separate file. But while we're going along in this lesson, you'll often see me use these style tags in the header because they work just fine and they're great for demonstration. You can choose your own way to put in CSS. It's really up to the imagination.